అంశాంతి ఇన్ ద ట్వంటీ ఫస్ట్ సెంచురీ ద ఫిగర్ ట్వంటీ వన్ ఈస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ వెన్ వీ లుక్ అట్ గ్యాన్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ ఫ్రమ్ ది వర్ల్డ్లీ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ వ్యూ ద ఫిగర్ ట్వంటీ వన్ ఈస్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ బాబా ఆఫన్ టాక్స్ అబౌట్ ట్వంటీ వన్ బర్త్స్ బాబా ఆఫన్ టాక్స్ అబౌట్ ట్వంటీ వన్ క్లాన్స్ అ కుమార్ ఈస్ సంబడి హూ ఆఫ్ లిఫ్ట్స్ ట్వంటీ వన్ క్లాన్స్ బాబా ఆల్వేస్ టాక్స్ అబౌట్ ట్వంటీ వన్ డేస్ ఆఫ్ బట్టీస్ దేర్ ఇస్ ట్వంటీ ఫస్ట్ జనవరి అ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఫిగర్ ఇన్ ద హిస్టరీ ఆఫ్ యజ్ఞ ట్వంటీ ఫస్ట్ జనవరి నైన్టీన్ సిక్స్టీ నైన్ బికాస్ దట్ ఈస్ ద డే ఆఫ్ ఫస్ట్ అవ్యక్త్ మురళి ట్వంటీ ఫస్ట్ జూన్ ఈజ్ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ యా హీ వాస్ బాబా వాస్ క్రిమిటెడ్ ఆన్ ద సేమ్ డే అండ్ ద డే ఆఫ్ ఫస్ట్ అవ్యక్త మురళి ట్వంటీ ఫస్ట్ జూన్ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ యోగా డే ట్వంటీ ఫస్ట్ సెప్టెంబర్ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ డే ఆఫ్ పీస్ so these are the important days in 1960 there was an american uh, plastic surgeon also a psychologist and he had written a beautiful book the name of the book was psycho psycho cyber cybernetics in that book this author maxwell maltz he describes the importance of 21 days he has talked about self image since he was a plastic surgeon and later on he turned towards psychiatry and psychology he found that whenever a patient undergoes plastic surgery of the face it takes him 21 days it takes 21 days to adopt to adapt to that new face not adopt adapt to that new face so that is known as creating new self image so for that adaptation it requires almost 21 days he also found that whenever a person undergoes amputation of limb for 21 days that person feels as if i have a limb that is known as phantom limb if suppose a limb is amputated and that person still keeps on feeling that i have a limb so these are the two important things for 21 days for forming new self image you require 21 days he also talked about when we go to a new place it takes almost 21 days to get fully settled in that new room in that new place so 21 days again ha i told 21 days patti that is in gyan and then 21 days habit any new habit if you want to form it takes about 21 days for a new habit whether it is amrit vela whether it is anything churning murli get up uh, sleeping early or giving speech or anything for that matter so these are the seven different importance of the figure 21 in 21st century first baba talks about 21 birth inheritance second baba talks about 21 birth 21 clans a kumari is somebody who is uplifter of 21 clans baba talks about 21 day bhattis then 21 days are required for new self image all the later on whatever self help book came they are based on this book which came in 1960 psycho cybernetics so 21 so new self image new habit and new uh, adaptation to new place and as i said some important days seventh is important days in yagya 21st january and in the world 21st june and 21st september so this 21 is a very magical figure it's a magical figure it has got importance some other places also like for ganesh puja you need 21 leaves and so on so forth in today's murli baba has talked about kumaris and baba has said a kumari is somebody as i said who is a flipter of 21 clans so we will look at this murli from that point of view 
Baba has in fact showered 21 blessings or has given 21 self-respect to all the Kumaris. Because the, just now we were hearing the time when Baba arrived, descended on this planet earth, that was the state of total degradation. In the name of religion, in the name of morality, people were fighting. As that nursery uh, rhyme says, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Uh, not all the king's men and all the king's horses could not put Humpty together again. That was the state of the world. All the king's horses and all the king's men could not put Humpty together again because they had a great fall. Actually, Brother Ken from Australia has described the state of the world in these words. That world suffered such a decay, such a stage of moral turpitude, such a stage of moral depravity. So, that was what has happened to the world. So, in this today's Murli, Baba has given almost 21 different blessings or 21 self-respects or saman to all the Kumaris. So we will see this Murli from this point of view. The first blessing which he gave to all the Kumaris or the first self-respect is a Kumari is somebody, Baba is saying, she is a hero actor. A Kumari is a hero actor. A Kumari is the most elevated soul and Kumari is somebody who is doubly pure. She is pure as regards the world and she is also pure as regards the soul. Laukik, alaukik, both. In both way, a Kumari is pure. So this is the first blessing that Baba has bestowed upon all the Kumaris that you are hero actors. Baba has said this Madhuban is a stage. Baba has described five things. First, drama. This is an unlimited drama. And he has added, added one adjective to all the words. This is an unlimited drama. Second, Baba always says I have not created this drama. But in, here in this Murli, Baba says he is the creator of drama. Second, create drama and creator of drama. Third, this confluence age. Baba said this is a wonderful confluence age. This is the third. Fourth point is this divine visions Baba is seeing. Divine here, divine visions, divine scenes. Not vision, scenes. And last, in Madhuban also this is a special scene. So, the first Soman, the first blessing Baba has given is all the Kumaris are what? First, as I said, they are the hero actors of this drama, of this stage. They are the most elevated souls and they are the doubly pure souls. They are very pure. This is the first Soman Baba has given. First blessing, second blessing. Second blessing again cons consists of three parts. Baba said, all Kumaris have got courage, zeal and enthusiasm and a pure thought with power in it. But sometimes it happens that instead of having courage, you have upheaval. Instead of having zeal and enthusiasm, you have a lot of questions. Instead of having that uh, thought, pure thought, but still it doesn't materialize because there is lack of power in that pure thought. There is a percentage in that power. So all the Kumaris are those souls who are first full of zeal and enthusiasm, full of courage and full of pure thought, but even that pure thought has got power. A thought is like a seed, Baba said. A thought is like a seed. So this is the second Soman Baba gave to all the Kumaris. Third Soman, all Kumaris are embodiment of experience. All Kumaris are embodiment of experience. Experience 
Baba has said five things about experience. Experience is the greatest of all the authorities in the world. The one who is experience, the one who has experienced, is the greatest of all. One. Second, anybody who has got experience is always full. Full with all the powers, with all the virtues, whether it is to tolerate, whether it is uh, to judge or anything. All powers. A person who is authority is full. Third, such a person would never get deceived by Maya. Such a person would never get deceived by Maya. No matter in what forms Maya comes. Fourth, such a person would not get defeated by Maya. Rather, Maya would get defeated. Maya would get defeated. A person who has got as I said, it is the greatest of all the authorities. Experience. So that is why in this Murli Baba said, Baba has given a gift. This is a gift from Madhuban, not just to Madhuban Nivasis, not just even to Kumaris, but even to Madhuban Nivasis. The seat of authority of experience. So experience is the greatest of all the authorities. Experienced person never gets deceived. Experienced person always is full Experienced person is never defeated, rather he defeats the Maya. So these are some of the things about experience. So a Kumari, if you look at from another point of view, a Kumari is somebody who has not entered into material life or married life. And still Baba is saying that you are the ones who have got power of authority. Because God has given you this power. You need not to go into the world, you need not to marry or you need not to go to then do worldly jobs. No, without doing all these things, only you have got the authority. So that is the third Soman. Fourth Soman or blessing Baba has given is, a Kumari is somebody who is easy yogi, constant yogi and natural yogi. Easy yogi, constant yogi and natural yogi. Today morning I was doing this practice as if I am a Kumari <laughs> and I am in front of Baba. And Baba is giving me all these 21 blessings. <laughs> Baba is giving all these 21 blessings. Okay, you are doubly pure. Okay, you are the most elevated. You are the hero actor. And then he said, yes, you are the one who is having enthusiasm, zeal. You are the one who is having courage. You are the one who is having... Hmm? authority of experience you are the one who is having who is an easy yogi constant yogi and natural yogi this is fourth fifth a kumari is somebody who is having happy face all the time this, her face is never unhappy never kush it is always cushy it is always Somebody who has attained paya hua. It is never khoya hua. It is never somebody who has lost everything. So, a kumari's face means sparkle is there, splendor is there on the face. So, that splendor, that sparkle should be visible on the face. And even Baba said that sparkle is not visible because you have not become experienced in each point of knowledge, each point of virtue, each point of power. Become complete in these things, then you will become the embodiment. So the fifth Soman, or the fifth Vardhan, or the fifth blessing, or the fifth Tilak, which Baba is giving is, you are the one who is having, what? Happy face. You are always happy. There is no power in this world that can make you unhappy. You know, in that WhatsApp you have got those emojis, emoticons. So, you have, what is your emotion? Emotions, emoticons and emojis. This is a good topic. Emotions, emoticons. Emoticons are very much similar to emojis and emojis. So all those emojis with happy face, sometimes with tongue out, sometimes with tongue inside, sometimes rotated face. So this is your actually, it signifies that you are always happy. Your face is never that sorrowful or crying or tearful. You have seen that, emojis, sorrowful, sad, depressed, unhappy, confused, bewildered. Oh, what is this? Those two eyes going up. <laughs> Here Baba is talking of happiness. 
So, a Kumari fifth slogan, a fifth Vardhan for all the Kumaris is that a Kumari is always happy. Because they are bondage free. So, they have to be happy. So, fifth, sixth. Kumari is somebody at Amrit Vela. She is lost in love. This is the stage of a Kumari. At Amrit Vela, she is lost in love. Lagan ne magan. Baba has described five scenes of Amrit Vela. At one place, Baba has said, Baba is very happy to see Kumaris. And another place, he is saying, saying, Baba is, this is a scene for laughter. At one place, he is happy. At another place, this is a scene for laughter. What are the five, five types of children? First, they try to hit, but their arrow is going somewhere. They miss the bull's eye. They don't hit the target. These are the first. They try to go to Paramdham, but they overshoot and they go to Nidra Lok, which is slightly above Paramdham, which is actually not shown in our seven days course, but it is there. And actually people want to even overshoot Paramdham and go there. Because they feel that we should climb higher and higher and higher. So probably, <laughs> with? They get exhausted. They get exhausted. So they, that's why they want to go ahead. So these are the first children. Sec uh, they get exhausted because of that. Then second are, they are having double swings. I don't know what, it is a satirical mark, what Baba is talking about when he says double swing. They are the ones who are swinging in double swing. These are the second type of children. Sometimes, oh, they might be going to Paramdham and suddenly they go down and like that. They might, they are swinging like this. So these are the second. Third children are those who are Neminath, who have made it a routine that they have to do Amrit Vela. They come, they sit, the moment it is finished, they go without any experience. Such an experience free Amrit Vela. <laughs> yoga, free yoga. Realization free Amrit Vela. So these, and the fourth are Hatha Yogis. They sit like this, on Sunday or anywhere, without any movement, but no experience. Whether they sit there, or whether they lead the yoga, or whether they lead here. But, Baba said like Hatha Yogis. Yeah, this position includes Seva, that's good. But it should not happen that you sit like an Hatha Yogi, or with a very difficult pose. People actually misuse the word Follow father. Follow father means doesn't mean that father used to sit like this, so you will also sit. Now you have a pain in your leg, how can you sit like that? It's not possible for everybody. Follow father is a very subtle, actually there should be a separate class on this. What is exactly follow father? Follow father doesn't mean that you start, you give up this and you start wearing dhoti and then next day, if you have a, if you have a hair and then you cut all your hair and you become or you, if you don't have moustache and you are unhappy because I am not becoming like father or you have this collar and you want to different shirt that father, follow father is not like that Achha, they think that let me start there was a disciple, he used to stay with a guru and he saw his guru his guru would sleep on the floor so he started sleeping on the floor his guru would eat only vegetables raw so he started eating that raw vegetables then uh, he saw that uh, his guru would uh, drink, uh, uh, eat vegetables and one more thing was there. He would just sit in meditation for a long time like this. So he also started doing like that. But guru understood, he is just copying me. There is no inner transformation happening, he is simply copying me. So after loss, some time that disciple becomes so egoistic, he feels, see I have become like my guru. I am following my Guru, I have become like Guru. So Guru takes him near a stable. Stable is that astable in Hindi, where there was a horse standing. So Guru tells him, look at that horse. He says, what is there? Look at that horse. That horse sleeps on the ground. You are doing the same. That horse eats that raw vegetables. You are also doing the same. And that horse stands and sits for a long time in the same pose. So what is the difference between you and him? Don't do this blind copying. <laughs> Don't do this blind copying. So, follow father doesn't mean that. So, Baba has seven, see, five types of children at Amrit Vela. And Akumar is the one who is lost in love at Amrit Vela.
This is the sixth blessing. Seventh blessing. Seventh is Kumari is the embodiment of the word remembrance. Artha Swarup. Yad. Embodiment of the word remembrance. It's not just repeating ba 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 ba. It is something to become this Swarup, to become the embodiment of the very word Yad. So seventh is this. Eighth is a Kumari is somebody who has stepped away from this fashionable word with her mind, with her body and she has made father her sole support. So this indicates Vairag. This indicates the intense Vairag. Because she has stepped away from this fashionable world. The world is so fashionable, it attracts you. You also feel like to do this fashion or that fashion. But to give up all of that and to adopt a new lifestyle, a BK lifestyle, a Tapasvi lifestyle, in this world, when Amti Dumpty had a great fall and not all the king's horses and all the king men could put Humpty together, such a world. So in that world, to adopt a new BK healthy lifestyle, spiritual lifestyle, Tapasvi lifestyle is not a joke. Not everyone can do this. So, eighth is to step away. Ninth. Ninth, a Kumari is somebody who is full and who is full and complete. Who is full. And who is full and like father. Sorry. Who is full and like father. That is ninth. Tenth, a Kumari is a Mahavirni and a Kumari is a victorious soul. Mahavirni, Baba has said Mahavir means you think and you become the embodiment. That is the definition of Mahavir. So these are the first ten blessings. Then eleven. A Kumari is somebody who has no complaints but who is complete. Who doesn't complain about her colleagues, about her companions, but who tries to become complete and that is Kumari. Twelfth. A Kumari is somebody who is a big river. Four types of souls Baba has described. Some are lake, some are small river, some are big river and some are well. So what are you going to become after going from here? So Kumari is somebody who is a big river. This is twelve. Thirteenth, a Kumari is somebody who is a hand free from obstacle. He, she is a hand who is free from all the obstacles. And fourteenth, a Kumari is somebody who does not take any service in return, who doesn't take any service from anybody. So these are the fourteen different types of blessings Baba has given. Now, few more. From fifteenth to twentieth, these Somans are from last Sunday's Murli. Last Sunday, Baba has covered three parties. This is the this is taken from the fourth party of Kumaris. So, 15th is a Kumari, somebody who is a special soul, who does the special task of uplifting the 21 clans. So, Kumari is somebody who is the uplifter of 21 clans, 15th. 16th, Kumari is somebody who is ever ready server. Whatever moment you call, she is ready. That is the definition of the Kumari. You cannot give excuses, oh I have this and I have that. Whenever you are called, you are present. That is the 16th. 17th. A Kumari is somebody who is who is eating instant fruit. Who is always eating instant fruit. Baba has given example of low kick. They pe those people, they work for one month and then they get salary. Here you eat, you, uh, you do work and you immediately earn. So, is a one who eats instant fruit. Next, uh, huh? and accumulate for future also, right. Then next, Kumari is somebody who is satisfied and makes others satisfied. Who is contented, who gets this certificate of staying contented and making others contented. So this is the definition of Kumari. Next, a Kumari is somebody who is always 
putting herself first. I have to do it. I have to change. I will adjust. She doesn't wait for others to change. Because if you wait for others to change, you may get deceived. So Kumari is somebody who is always putting herself first. This is 19th. 20th. 20th is a Kumari is somebody who is, uh, there is a very beautiful point there. Uh, in that same paragraph. Hmm? This is a very separate point, but it's a good point. Akumar is somebody who is... Okay, I'll come to that later on. Last point. Huh? Trustee, that is... Okay. Huh, Kumar is somebody who does service as per Srimad. Whenever Didis or Dadis tell you anything, you just do it as per Srimad, then it is not your responsibility, you just remain as a trustee. So, mm, 20th point is, Akumar is somebody who does service as per Srimad. And the last point which I have taken from the question. Baba is proud of which children? Those who earn a huge income. Just as if you have figure 1, you add 0, it becomes 10, then it becomes 100, it becomes 1000. In the similar manner, the moment you remember Shri Baba, and within that second, things are added. So your income increases. So Kumari is somebody who earns a huge income and who makes father proud. So these are the 21 points. We will revise again in quickly. First, Kumari is somebody who is hero actor, elevated soul and who is doubly pure. Second, Kumari is somebody who is zeal enthusiasm, courage and who has got pure thought with power. Third, a Kumari is somebody who is what is the third point? Who is the authority of experience? Who is seated on the authority of experience? Baba has given this gift from Madhuban. Fourth, a Kumari is somebody who is natural yogi, easy yogi, constant yogi. Fifth, a Kumari is somebody whose face is always happy and who has always all attainments. Sixth, a Kumari at Amritvela, she is lost in love. Lagan me magan. Seventh, a Kumari is, is the embodiment of Remembrance, the word remembrance. Eighth, Kumari is somebody who has stepped away from this fashionable world with her mind and with her body. And she has made father her one sole support. Eighth, ninth, Kumari is somebody who is full and like the father. Tenth, a Kumari is somebody who is, who is Mahavir and who is victorious soul. Eleventh, a Kumari is somebody who is, obst no, a Kumari is somebody who is, who is, Kumari is eleventh, Kumari is somebody who is complete and no complaints. Eleventh, twelfth, who is a big river. Thirteenth, Kumari is somebody who is, hmm? hand, which is, which is free of all the obstacles. And third, fourteenth, a Kumari is somebody who, will not take any service from anybody. So these are the 14th. Then from 15 to 20th are from the last Sundays Murli. Uh, 15th is Kumari is a special soul with special task of elevating the 21 clans, uplifting the 21 clans, 15th. 16th, Kumari is somebody who is ever ready server. Kumari is server, somebody who, 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 who does service as per Srimat. 18th. 15, 16, 17. 18, Kumari is somebody who is instant fruit. 19, Kumari is somebody who is, that I included earlier only, Kumari is somebody who is putting herself first. Kumari is somebody who is contented and makes others contented. He get, She gets the services. She gets this certificate. Baba said, you are on trial, so you should get this certificate. And 20th is, you are somebody who is putting herself, yourself first. I have to change. I have to adjust. I have to do. In three things, you have to become so Ote, so Arjun. So these are the three things. And the last, 21st point is, Kumari is somebody who earns a huge income. 
because every second you remember the father and with every second you earn so these are the different 21 points 21 different blessings baba has given to all the kumaris and you have to practice this 21 blessings for 21 days so that it becomes habit so you have to create a new self image so that it becomes your new self image of new brahma kumari 21 days it should become you should adjust to this place baba said you are a hero actor in this drama so you get adjusted to this stage 21 days this is the 21st century 21st june international yoga day 21st june international day of peace 21st june that is avyakta first avyakta divas so these are in short about today's avyakta murli om shanti